Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me review a fragrance from House of... Uh, oh man, this house, uh, I cannot... Sp- <laughs> Very difficult for me to say the house. It at Libra d'Orange. Libra d'Orange. Uh, this is a second review. Uh, from Second review. This is a second fragrance review from this house for me. And this is called You or Someone Like You. Okay, not you or someone else. Okay. And this house is kind of weird. You know, this thing is an eyeball. Okay, it's like eye perhaps. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's a lens. And this is a EDP concentration. This one I bought off after Remarkable People, which I reviewed a few days back. Check out my review on that. This fragrance has a few bottle sizes, small bottle, big bottle. This is a bigger size bottle. Uh, retail goes for $150 to $160. Some people say they're overpriced. Yeah, I can see that, you know, like Maison Martin, Margiela, them, you know, they charge a little bit more money, like Pen Halligans. I feel a little bit overpriced. But, uh, you know, recent times, there's some sales going on. You can get it under $100, exactly $100 for this big bottle. Uh, so at the back, some information. It's EDP concentration, 100 ml ingredients. I don't want to know that. Uh, there's a batch code at the base up there, their logo. So they have quite a few fragrances in Bangladesh. If you go to Sundara or Sandara, uh, they have the biggest retail shop in Bangladesh. You'll see many of their fragrances. You can test them. They have tester for everything. But everything I tried, some of the, most of the fragrances felt like a little bit like challenging or weird, you know, there's a fragrance of jasmine cigarette or something, and there's a fawn <laughs> of this other one from the with the king. I don't know, man. There are like so many weird names, or you know, like the names are very different. And uh, there's one fragrance I really want to blind by. It's called Cologne, you know. But I am still thinking about it. So here's the bottle. Very simplistic looking bottle, but I like their bottles. They have a signature bottle kind of thing. They're the name of the house. And I feel the juice color is a little bit mild green. And there's a sticker right in front. The name of the, perf- of the perfume, very nice, high quality cap. Clicks onto place and then base is the sticker and all that. So here the click, it clicks onto place. Good, good quality. And the cap got weight. I like that. So, man, let me spray this. Let me spray and talk about it because I know the smell. Check out the sprayer. Okay. This, hands down, one of the best sprayers in the game. Cartier Roadster, this one, Chanel, Creed's. This is definitely, this house definitely uses some of the best sprayers. 10 for the bottle design. Okay. So now, uh, this fragrance I smelled uh, last week or so. And I didn't buy it. Uh, My brother, my good friend, best friend, he bought the last bottle. And I was kind of sad. I wanted to review it. I'm like, no, it's okay. You know, it's always happy times, you know, when your best friend buys uh, the bottle that he really enjoys it too. And he got in. He's enjoying it a lot. But recent times I bought it off from a brother. Almost uh, like a good price, close to the retail. But uh, sorry, close to the price he bought for. But he gave me a good deal, so I took it off from him because he didn't like it. He wore like two to three ml. He said the dry down is not doing it for me. So of course, you know everybody's taste is different. You know it's understood, and everybody's uh, preferences. They want to buy something else, right? So I said, thank God, I want it so bad. God perhaps listened to me. And this is one of the hands down on the best mint based fragrances in the market. Authentic mint. And if you enjoy mint, Cartier Roadster is one of my favorite. Roadster Sport and some of the other ones, Eros Got Mint. Some of the other g- fragrance like Guerlain, Aqua Algeria, Arba Fresca. I forgot the name. They have one particular beautiful mint based perfume. Doesn't last. Here's your solution. If you like those, Cartier Roadster and this, two of my biggest favorite fragrances, but there are differences. This is like very focused on mint. You know, if you do not enjoy mint, you'll not like this. If you like mint, you'll love this. That's it. This fragrance has for a mint fresh perfume, this fragrance has excellent longevity. You know, it, you can smell it literally like for a l- many hours, okay? So usually mint fragrances, authentic mint citruses will not have that sort of property. Excellent longevity. Summer and spring definitely is the right weather. So I don't know if this is for um, unisex or male, but usually most of the fragrances are unisex. So I would say... It smells really nice. Opening is big, bold, that the mint is there. But there are some other properties. It's kind of like warm on my skin. Kind of like warms you up, you know. And slowly it starts changing, perhaps seaweedy-like, you know. It, there are some other properties, you know. Um, let me take a good look at the fragrant notes. Because I don't remember, honestly, speaking the notes. Let me take a look at the other notes. Then I'll tell you what I get.
Yeah, right. So the mint, I remember. And then the, there is a green notes, official green notes. But there's nothing peppery, I guess. So there's anise, yeah, bergamot, grapefruit. There's some citruses, which are there. It's kind of like mouthwatering in that way. So after that, it's kind of like a rose. That's the note that I forgot. There's a rose and cassis. Cassis is kind of like black currant, I think. So it has the fruity aspect, but mostly it's a green rose. So it's a fresh rose. Uh, it's a green rose. Think of one million cologne, which has a little bit of a sweet rose, but uh, aquatic vibe. This one has the aquatic minus the sweetness. Not as sweet. It's more green, more fresh, herbal uh, rose. So this fragrance definitely... Uh, it's an aqua taste. Not everybody will like it. If you are new in the game, you will not like it. This is not a beginner's perfume for sure. And I'm not trying to say that I am the most knowledgeable person right now. Um, but if you have same taste as Mark, Rob08, he loved it. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, I think he reviewed it, right? Yeah, I think so. I saw the review. But if you like green fragrances, if you have a mature nose by now, this is a niche territory. Uh, even the mint can play. Like I reviewed a fragrance from House of Diaz and Durga called Coriander. Really liked it. I would not think in my right mind I would like a fragrance that smells like coriander. You know, like I'm like, damn, hey, coriander, you green man. Why, why are you perfume? You know, <laughs> nowadays I can appreciate it. You know, that uh, the unique idea, how the perfumers sort of like develop using different notes. They make the realistic sort of vibe. They make smoky perfumes, green perfumes. It's, it's a wonderful thing for me. So this fragrance goes perfectly with, let's say, a doctor's appointment. Okay, you're going to see, you are a doctor, you are a dentist. You were wearing this perfect, amazing fragrance. Uh, some people call this a masterpiece. It's close to that in that genre. Uh, but do not put too much of it. You can choke people. You can choke yourself. Okay. Do not go like trigger happy. Some reviewers will tell you, ah, be a heavy sprayer. You know, spray some on your down there in the crotch. You know, don't do that. You know, that is going to be really off putting. People may run away from you. <laughs> Even though this is uh, a lighter, you know, more fresher cologne. Uh, less is more, okay? Less is more. Three sprays, ideal. Go one on the back of your neck, perhaps two shoulders or two arms, perfect. Maybe once on the chest after the shower, amazing. Imagine having a sangria or sangria, right? And then you're having a holiday, perhaps a mojito. Not mojito in a bottle. I have some mojito in a bottle kind of fragrances. Where are those? I have a girl and om, girl and um. This one, sweet mojito, sweet rum rather. Then I have a uh, low boise, another one, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So I do have some mojito smelling fragrances. Uh, Gil and Om, low boise, one of the best. This one you can consider, but it's not as sweet. Okay. So if you do not like rose, it will change, you know, uh, later on. If you like that combination of green notes mixed with the rose, not super sweet, young rose, and then opening is heavy mint, give it a try. This fragrance definitely is surprisingly good. When I sprayed it, First thing, you know, first day will be surprised. Come back the second day, test it. Perhaps you'll like it. Third day, you may actually take it home. That kind of fragrance. But you have to be patient with this kind of fragrances. So it are Libra. Libra. It, uh, <laughs> see, I cannot say the name yet. It are Libre de Orange. And this fragrance is called You or Someone Like You. I don't know the meaning behind the name. It's an interesting fragrance. I don't care for the name. I really like this bottle, the sprayer, and the juice. That's all that matters. So if you can score this on $100, it would be an excellent buy, but I don't think you will be able to unless you get super discount. Overall, this fragrance for a mean-based perfume, man, I would say it's a mature man's fragrance, very classic country club. If you're a member of one of those, uh, like if you're like a pristine club member, this fragrance goes with it. Summer's day, spring day, you just wear this, go there with a nice polo t-shirt. People just look at you, wow, you smell classy. Yeah. That's, that's class in a bottle, okay? You or someone like you, definitely give it a try. But do not blind by this perfume. You're seeing this blue color. It doesn't smell blue at all. It's a green perfume, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Overall, that fragrance, I'll give it a, what's my score? Nine and a half. Great longevity, great presentation. Like the smell. Only thing, it's not for everybody. So half a mark, a little bit slashed. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Time to upload these reviews and have a very nice uh, holiday season, which is coming up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.